Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and we're going to take a look today at the scriptures for the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. The gospel reading comes from Luke chapter 19. It's the story of Zacchaeus in Jericho. He wants to get a glimpse of Jesus, and he gets more than a glimpse. He ends up having dinner with him. But before we look at Zacchaeus, I want to back up and look at the first reading, which is from the Book of Wisdom, and I quote, For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things. I like that. You have mercy on all. You know, mercy is a very, very central topic right now in the church. And God is teaching us more and more about mercy, particularly uh, with Pope Francis. You know, mercy is where God's love comes to pain. Mercy is where God's compassion and his covenant faithfulness meets tragedy and difficulties. And we're all in need of mercy uh, from time to time in our life. And we also can be merciful to other people. In the gospel reading, we see Zacchaeus, and we oftentimes just think of Zacchaeus as a little guy. He wasn't tall enough, you know, to see over the crowd, and even songs are sung about uh, Zacchaeus was a wee little guy, a wee little guy was he, you know. And, and, but when we find that Jesus comes to Jericho, Zacchaeus cannot get a glimpse of him, so he goes up in a sycamore tree, and he gets a glimpse of Jesus. And Jesus looks at him, and he says, he says I am going to have dinner at your house. And Zacchaeus got down and it says he received the Lord with great joy, with great joy. And that's interesting, to receive the Lord with joy. Do we receive the Lord with joy in our life? The scriptures tell us in Nehemiah that the joy of the Lord is our strength. It is our strength to participate in the joy of the Lord. Joy is something that we all desire and we want to have joy in our life. Well, Zacchaeus received the Lord with joy, and that's what happens when we receive the Lord into our life. When he comes to dinner at our house, we receive him with joy. When we read his word, we receive him with joy. When we meet him in our friends or family, we receive him with joy. Now, we didn't go to Jesus' house for dinner 2,000 years ago, but I can tell you this, he is inviting you to a meal. He's inviting you to a meal in the Eucharist. In the Eucharist, we receive his body and blood, soul and divinity. But I want to focus on this one aspect this week. Do you receive him with joy? Or is your mind in another place? Do you walk up to receive communion and genuflect and, and then uh, receive him without any intentionality? Or you're thinking about a football game or what you're going to do afterwards? In our lives, I think we need to do a better job, at least I know I do, of receiving him with joy. And that when I say amen to the words, this is the body of Christ, that I am intentional and I focus. And as I do that, the joy of the Lord begins to rise up within me. It's a powerful thing. But here's what's really interesting about, about this wording that Jesus used. It says that, that Jesus was received by Zacchaeus and he had dinner in his, in his house. It's almost a word play because the name of Jesus in Hebrew is Yeshua. And Yeshua is also uh, related to another word which is Yoshia, which is salvation. So in a way, Jesus is saying to Zacchaeus, salvation has come to your house. I have come to your house. When you encounter him in the word, when you encounter him in the Eucharist, when you encounter Jesus in the sacraments, you can receive him with joy. And remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength.